Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley, and I'm into all things the beauty. Um, and today, we're actually gonna do a requested hair tutorial. Um, so I'm just gonna show you all how I normally curl my hair, and it'll last me um, until I wash it again for the most part. I mean, it'll loosen out, but. And I'm so excited to do it because this is my favorite way to wear my hair. And I hope you all like it. So if you want to see how I get my everyday loose waves, just keep watching. Okay, so first things first to get into this, um, I'm just going to separate my hair. I've already brushed it. This is a couple days old. So um, when I washed it originally, I just kind of put a few curls in the end. And then I've had it braided a few times. I've been to the park and... Things like that. So this is definitely like day three hair. Um, <laughs> especially with the humidity we're having here in East Tennessee. It's just kind of doing whatever. So, um, but this is how I would normally do my hair as soon as I finished washing it and drying it um, and things like that. So um, it's been brushed and now I'm just going to separate it into sections. So I'm just going to take it and about right here at my ears, just kind of go up to the crown, separate it like this, just twist it, and I'm gonna use a little clip and put that in there, just clip it all the way. And then I just kinda divide it behind my head, just in half, um, and I take this curling iron, it's so old, it's a Revlon, and it's a, um, I think it's one and a quarter inch barrel. And I just take it and I just section it off the bottom half of my hair. I just kind of do in big sections. Um, so just take it and I'll just twist it about halfway. Like I still have all this. So I hold it there for a minute and twist it again. And this will really help keep your curl to hold. Um, and then same thing, take it down here. So now I have the full length of my hair in the curl and iron. I just hold it for a few seconds and then I let it go. And this is kind of what you're left with and it will loosen out, but I don't touch it until I'm, I'm completely done. I let it hold as long as possible. And I'm just gonna repeat that process for the rest of my hair. And I always want to curl away from my face for this type of look. Same thing, twisting away from my face and doing little sections at a time with how much I put on the barrel. All right, and then the same thing on the other side is I'm just gonna take sections and they can be random sized. Um, and again, curl away from my face.
Alrighty, and so again, the bottom half is now done, and I'm not gonna pull the curls out or anything like that until everything, my whole head's done, and then I'll run my fingers through it and mess them up. So now I'm just gonna do the next section. So I have all this left, and I'm just gonna kinda let it fall down and take it about where my eyes are, and then just up towards the top of my head. And I will section that off. And put that in the clip. Starting to look a little bit more like Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> and again, I'll just kind of separate it in the back like this. And pull it all forward. And I'll start the process all over again. Again, away from the face is the way I'll curl it. Alrighty, and so now what I do is with this last top part, I just take it down um, and just kind of mix it up. So I just take some sections and I just kind of go to town with them. Um, and they're all different sizes, but again, I'm just curling a, like away from my head and from my face. So you're gonna curl backwards.
And this will also help give you some lift. I hear you. All right, and this is my, basically my last piece, last two pieces, and I still have a little bit of bang. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to curl it all together so it'll swoop more naturally, but some of it'll fall out, which is totally fine. I also don't hold that one as long either because I don't want to have like a ton of hair right there. Okay, so as you can see right now, my hair is um, very curly, which is good. I want it to stay like this and completely cool before I run my fingers through it. And if you know me um, pretty well, then you know that I'm not a huge fan of hairspray. I use it every once in a while, but I'm not like every day I don't use it um, to set in my look I just I'm not a huge fan um, so I just kind of normally what I would do if I'm going somewhere or, or you know just whatever I um, I let my hair rest and cool down and I'll do my mascara or I'll put my lipstick on um, or if I need to do my makeup for something I'll go ahead and do my makeup while it's just completely cooling and then once it's completely cooled and it's cool to the touch I'll run my fingers through it and if I like I said if I need to put hairspray in it to go to an event or um, or things like that or if it's super humid outside and I really want to hold my my style I'll throw some some hairspray in there um, one that I really love is by matrix it's in a blue bottle it's humidity resistant so with my naturally curly hair <laughs> it's a big help um, so with that being said, I'll kind of give you my tips and tricks for this. Um, I do have naturally curly hair, so that helps with me being able to hold the curl. Um, this wand is fantastic, but another one, if you have hard to curl hair, that works really well is by Lange. Um, and they have different sizes depending on your needs. They also have ceramic versus titanium. If you have shorter hair, you might want to go with the 25 millimeter. If you have longer hair like myself um, and you want bigger curls, the 33 millimeter is great. I believe that's what it is. Um, and I have the ceramic, I'm sorry, I have the titanium one and it's in rose gold and it's super pretty too. Um, and so I love doing it. And yeah, so if you guys like this tutorial, uh, my hair is about cool now so I can kind of show you how I finish it. I just 
take my fingers and I just kind of switch sides with it and just run my fingers loosely through it. and kind of tossle it. And this is my everyday hair. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments down below. And if you have any other requests for videos or if you guys have anything that you'd like me to try with hair, um, I can do that for you as well. Make sure to check out the description box for anything um, that I can list there. If you want to know my makeup details, I can leave those down below um, as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!